Welcome to LT Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Oh my god. <laughs> Sun is coming up, vibe is going down. Fish are all abiding and jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go. It's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking. LT Outdoors Might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting Might even do a little fortune too I'm talking LT Outdoors I hope you enjoy the show Special thank you to all my patrons out there. If you want to become a patron, go to patreon.com and look up LT Outdoors. From now on, I will be doing a monthly drawing giveaway as a thank you to all of you for all of your patronage. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. In this episode, I'm back on the water trying to find some panfish. Um, I'm actually casting today with some underspins and beetle spins, trying to get into some big ones. Um, I will not name the name of these small lakes. I don't like to do that, just like I don't do streams. Um, there's no need to. If you have small lakes near you, you can do the same thing that I'm doing. Go along the weed beds, go along the drop-offs, you will find the fish. That's where they're hanging out this time of year, guys. So, hope you enjoy this episode. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh rock bass. That's a nice fish, too. Can't get away from them, but I'm not complaining. That's exactly what I want. Now I just tied on, I'm gonna show you guys, I just tied on what's called an underspin. I'm gonna keep that fish. Um, underspins are kind of a cool lure. They are a jig automatically attached with a spinner blade, just like that. And they've got, some of them don't have the hair jig, some of them are just plain so you can put a rubber worm on them. This one's got a hair jig deal going on, but yeah, I really like these. Last year was the first year I really got into them cast them out reel them really slow along the weed edges and along the drop-offs where you think the panfish might be and uh, they work good this is the roadrunner um, just a smaller jig I don't know what the size is on this one but yeah they work really well that was the first cast so they're no matter what they're good for finding fish you can use these as a locator if you start getting a bunch of hits from bluegill but they're not getting it in their mouth switch up to something smaller Oh. <laughs> oh guys that was a pike oh i better loosen my drag i forgot how many of them are in here oh that was bad at least i didn't lose my lure see all these bubbles coming up right here guys i can almost put money down that that is a big snapping turtle usually in the summertime when you see a big bubble trail like that it's a snapping turtle There we go. That might be a pike. That's a good fish. If it's a panfish, it's a big one. Could be a bass too, but I think it's a pike. It's pike. <laughs> it's a little hammer handle. <laughs> you got me all wet, but it felt good, dude. Pike on the underspin. Got a good hook set in him too. Nice. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's gotta be another pike. Maybe not. Is it a rock bass? Yes it is. Oh, another pig of a rock bass. Man, they never let you down, that is for sure. Cool. <laughs> there we go. That's a big fish. Oh, crappie. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I was hoping to get into some of these out here. That is a nice one. Look at that. Got bit right there, probably by a pike or a turtle. 
That is a beautiful, beautiful crappie. Nice. That's what I want right there. Oh, no. Oh, there goes my underspin. Well, that was a pike. <laughs> Shoot. Now this, I only have two more left. I got or two at one more after this. This is uh, the only other feathered one I got. And then I got one I could put a plastic on. This is a lot lighter. I won't be able to throw it as far, but... Yeah, that pike bit me right off, man. Hey. <laughs> Perch. I'll be dang. Not bad either. Almost my keeper size. It's probably close to seven. There we go. There we go. That's a pan fish of some sorts. Oh, crappie. <laughs> yes, baby, yes. Oh, look at that, folks. Look at that. That's getting a picture. Oh. There's another fish. Oh, it's another crappie. It's even bigger. Oh my God. I think I just got into a school of these. I think I got into a school of crappies. Oh. That's a good hit. Oh, I just seen one smack it again. I seen that. That's another nice crappie. There it is. There it is. Oh man. Watched it hit. That is just insane. Insane. Look how pretty that is. Then another one. Thing smoked it. I watched the bait go sideways. <laughs> uh, these are awesome. He swallowed it. Just like hit it and ran at the boat. Just like that. That's a big one. Oh, that's a big crappie. Come on, baby. Ah, that's a good fish. <laughs> Just look at that, though. Swallowed it. Swallowed it. Roadrunner, baby. Moldy but a goodie. There we go. Ooh, that's a good one. Good fish. Man, it's hard to beat the fight of these things. Ooh, that might be a bass. That's fighting different. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's a bass. That's pulling the boat. Yep, <laughs> it's a large now. bad one either not bad at all beautiful Ooh, there we go that's a good fish that's a good fish I don't know what it is might be a pike yep pike number two their hammer handle but yeah they love these road runners yeah just a little guy open that beak up buddy you ain't taking my lure <laughs> there we go there we go it took me a while to find them but oh <laughs> Back off again, baby. Oh, the school moved on me for a bit. Hopefully, I'm back on them. <laughs> nice fish. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try something a little different here. Even though that small one was working fine, 
Um, I am going to try an upgrade. I'm going to put a heavier one on because I want to try some of the deeper water. I think these fish might be down there. And then I'm going to throw this little plastic on there because this is one that doesn't have a feather jig. So I'm going to be throwing this. I believe it's a Lunker City plastic. Uh, my friend Stephen House sent this up. So... There's one. Ooh. I think that's a, I think it's a crappie by the way it hit. If it is, it's a big one though. It's bigger than what we've caught. It might be a pike though. Oh, 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 oh no. No, I think it was a big crappie. Oh, oh pike. <laughs> Shoot. God dang it. Okay, I guess I'm gonna try this one out. This is a different one. This is not a Roadrunner. I don't know what this jig is. Uh, I think it's like a Matt Zuo jig or something, but it's got a little tiny rubber worm on it. So let's see what happens. There we go. There we go. That's a crappie. Ooh, that's a good one too. Come on, baby. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's on that jig in the plastic. That was only like the fourth cast, so that's a good one too, folks. Nice. Oh, there's another one. They like that jig. They like that jig, man. They're smoking it. <laughs> They're all good size, all really good eaters. There we go. That hit really hard. <laughs> that's, oh, that's a big crappie. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got off right in the boat. That's a beautiful one. Look at that. <laughs> There we go. That's a good fish. Pike. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's got the line in his mouth. He swallowed it. Don't you break me off, sucker. <laughs> that is why the, uh, Crappies are moving right there. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That's gotta be a crappie. Yep. Oh, that's a big one too. Oh no, he broke me off and fell in the water. Oh no. Oh, I should have changed my line after that pike. That don't happen often. That truly sucks, folks. Rookie mistake! Crap, and I don't have another one of those jigs either. There we go. There we go. I put on a beetle spin. Yeah. And a Lunker City bait. I think it's a ribster. It's like a little swim bait. But I thought I'd try that. And that seemed to work, at least for that one. Oh, <laughs> look at you. Aren't you a pretty little thing? I'm actually not sure on... Uh on the species <laughs> wow you are pretty I'm just a little guy you better get your butt to shore dude you're gonna get eaten yeah sure is a beautiful beautiful little snake yeah i feel bad putting you back in the water i don't want you to get eaten dude i don't know how far you were gonna swim but you had a ways ahead of you Man, you are so pretty. Well, I guess I'll uh, let you get back to it. 
Sorry for bothering you. Just want to see what you are. There you go. Swim away, buddy. Yeah, hopefully a bass or something don't eat him. Yeah, I know I shouldn't. Because of nature and all that jazz, but I see where he's heading. I really don't want to eat him. I got a feeling he gets up to a lily pad, something's gonna eat him. He's gonna make it. No point in going through all the craziness. If you want on this side, I will bring you to this side. <laughs> Hopefully you find what you're looking for, little pal. Just chilling down the leg where it's nice and warm. I don't like the cold. I'm sure that water don't feel too good on me. Just getting through all the tough stuff. Oh, there we go. That's got to be a pike. Oh, no, it's not. I think it's a rock bass. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that. The jig is gone. It's crushing. Oh, another good fish. Oh, it's a crappie. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, man. <sighs> what a day. Oh, there we go. That fish hit good. That's another crappie. Oh, man. <laughs> another big one, too. Oh, gosh. I could not be happier, guys. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Oh, is it a crappie? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's a big one. That's a nice fish. Oh, I had to launch him on the lap. Awesome. There we go. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh, the crappies are known for getting off like that, too. There we go. There's a nice fish. A bit like a crappie. Yep. <laughs> Another big one. Oh, Lord. It's 18. Wow, that's the biggest, I think. There we go. There we go. God, yeah, baby. 19. He hit right by the boat. Right by the boat. That yeah, was definitely crappie. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yes. Oh my God. Right by the boat. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that's got to be a pike. That's a big fish. Pike or a bass? Oh, gotta be a pike. Oh man, don't break that four prong test. Oh, that's a bass. That's a nice bass. That's a real nice bass. Get out of them weeds, baby. Yeah, that's a chunk of there. That's a nice fish. Look at that. Ah, oh, you got me all mucky up, didn't you, buddy? Yeah, that's a good fish. There we go. Thanks for that fight, baby. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Come on, baby. <laughs> right off the hook. Ah, I caught it in my hand, too. It's 21, baby. Ooh, there we 
we go. There's another one. Oh man, that's a big one. That's a big one. Look at that, guys. 22. <laughs> yes. There's one. 23, if I can get it, man. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my gosh, that's a really big crappie. <laughs> oh man. There we go. Come on, baby. It's a nice fish. Oh no. Oh shoot. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Don't get off. <laughs> Sheesh. That's 24. One to go. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's another big one. That's number 25, baby. I could not be happier. I could not be happier. A limit of big crappies. That is something to be proud of, folks. That's incredible. Become part of Team LT Outdoors? It's easy. All you got to do is go to Etsy.com, type in LT Outdoors, and you can go to the LT Outdoors store. I have so much stuff in there in stock right now, guys. Lots of really cool hats, really cool shirts. And I am making new designs almost every single day. So make sure you stop in there. Check out LT Outdoors at Etsy.com and check out what I got in there. Also, you can become a patron. Go to Patreon.com and you can put in your monthly support for LT Outdoors to help me with all my travels and everything else that it takes for me to get out and do what I do. And uh, last but not least, if you guys would like a free decal, I pay for these, but I send them out for free for you guys because I love to have you guys driving around with these on your vehicles email me ltoutdoors15 at yahoo.com and i will send these out for free lt outdoors is brought to you by rbm jigs and lake effect lure co time to join the rattle revolution check out the new feisty fry and ned head jigs far out foods seasonings that are out of this world sport spec magnify your outdoor experience mountable memories taxidermy mounting memories to last a lifetime an Elk Town Tackle, Michigan-made crawler harnesses, perch rigs, and more. French fried potatoes? Yep, french fries. How much you want for them? <laughs>